Welcome to Electron Line. One of the ways in which trestles can be used is to build structures to provide roof covering on one side and open on the other side. For example, in stadiums, where we want a large crowd to be protected from the sun and the rain, we have structures in such a way that we can have large expansions out with no support at the end. Something the Romans wanted to do for the Colosseum, and they came up with some very interesting inventions to do that, but they did not have the knowledge of how to build trusses. If they had, they would have been able to build a much better covering for like the big stadiums that they had and for the Colosseum. But now we figured this out using this truss mechanism. You can see that we can provide very large overhangs for very large open spaces. Another way of doing that is to what we call the cantilever. Again, we would have a connection on this side supporting this large structure that supports a lot of open space and not connected on the far end. And then we have something called the bascule. This is from a French design. Notice we have a very large ballast at the bottom supporting the, the weight put in the center of mass close to the center, uh, close to the one edge right here. So this could be used in a moving bridge, for example, moving bridge support. Notice that all of the center mass is very close to this very large heavy weight at the bottom. And then we have this strong structure that allows the cantilever, the movement of the bridge in, in the various direction like that. There's an unlimited number of ways in which trusses can be used to build all kinds of structures, both for standing structures and for moving structures. Also notice that in any case, you always need to provide some stress relief for changes in the temperature where you could have an expansion and contraction of the truss and allow that not to build up too many stresses. Notice that in all cases, you do have to counterbalance. You can see that the center mass would be too far to the right. Again, if you didn't have a counterbalance with a cable like this holding everything in place, the whole thing would probably topple over. So you do have to account for all those various things. But now you have a good idea what trusses look like and what various types of things they can be used for. Now let's go forward and start calculating how to find the forces on each of the members and each of the joints in any of the trusses that we'll encounter. That's an interesting technique that is very powerful when you analyze these trusses.